Guys, just a quick shout out to our wonderful sponsors, Born Irish Whiskey. <laughs> it's not your average whiskey, it's a dark, delicious elixir. This uh, whiskey is aged in uh, stout casks, so it gives it that black texture. It's fantastic, it's tasty. Have it with a Coke, have it with a ginger. I'm going to do a really long ad, so you have to hold that out there, struggling. All you have to do, if you listen to this podcast, is go to bornirishwhiskey.com, use the code... Bomb Squad 15 to get 15% off this bottle right here. Not this particular one, a brand new one. Uh, this one right here. He's struggling. He's struggling there. Born Irish Whiskey. Get on it, my guys. That's easier. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Born Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> who, who needs the gym? Just- Take the cover off a microphone? Yeah. Like, is that all it is? Yeah. Is that all the science it is? <laughs> that fucking horse shit. Man, this Nordic's hitting like a motherfucker. <coughs> you but too? <coughs> right. Big dramatic intro. Let's go. Hello. What's happening, people? Welcome to episode 74 of the Ball Squad Podcast. Still in Edinburgh, still time traveling? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Has it been here for six months? Deja vu. Uh, is that mine? Uh, it is. We're dipping into the... We chatted about it the other day. Baja Blast. Yep. This, this is my first taste of it. Live review? Live review. 170 calories per can. Should have had a fucking pint, pint of Guinness. <laughs> I don't know what Baja is. <laughs> but it's stinking. <laughs> Spanish for stinking. Is it? Stinking no. blast. You have a stinking blast? <laughs> you had a couple of stinking uh, blasts blast <laughs> this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I said right, something but... highly racist and Aaron laughed and farted 12 times. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Happy the full club. Uh, yeah, me and uh, myself and Niall went for a few pints last night. A la, or sorry, Avec. Uh, Michael Rice. Yeah. Uh, Elliot Steele. Sweet baby boy, Angel Lucas. Yeah. William Thompson and his teammates. Nice. Blast. Blast. Absolutely fucked. I mean, I, dr- I I said I wasn't drinking and I drank to 2 p 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. And then felt like a real pussy going home. Mm-hmm. Sorry, boys. I'm clocking out here at the 16 drinks and 2 a.m. And you uh, Like what? a fanny. You went home and got yourself a, a Mexican kebab and watched some Bourdain. Yeah, I walked past. Uh, this, this is how much my... Uh, well, power lasts. I was walking up and I was like, I walk past boss man's place here. I looked in. I'm like, I've no cash on me anyway. Place is empty. I'm looking in. I'm going like this. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Place is empty. Walk by two more feet. ATM. Yeah. Skipped a few notes. Back in. I'm back player. Guy was burping like a motherfucker. <laughs> he was rough. No I walked food. in. This guy's like slapping his belly. He's going. Ugh! <laughs> and he goes, sorry if I just had my, my dinner. And I went, ah, oh, but long day, was it? And he was like, uh, I had full pizza, full shawarma wrap. Now I feel like a sleep. <laughs> I was like, that is a fucking cloister you found there, sir. He said, he, he said that he's out there every single day. Uh, he's like, I, I work here 19 years. I eat my own food every day. I never go to the doctor once. And I was like, way to sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Never got sick. He said, it's all fresh. Because it's fresh. Fresh food, never sick. I feel like though there is like anomalies like that though, you know, there's always like the old boy, it's like attached to the bar still, just sits there all day, drinking half and smoking bangs and he'll live to 104. Yeah. And then the fucking vegan, gluten free will die at 40. I well, yeah, sure, I've seen things like that where they're like, you know, they're, they're talking to surgeons who do like hip replacements and all and he goes, this isn't like unfit whatever people. He goes, I'm doing hip replacements on like women that have done yoga every day for 40 years. Yeah. You know, so be, that's what I'm saying out there. Sitting there, just fucking chill out, do nothing. Yep. You love forever. You know, get the, you know, don't be, it's like a car. Don't be, drive the car about once a week. Clean it. 
Don't be railing it all day. You know, burn out. Yep. You never know when your Baja Blast could be your Baja last. Bars. Get that clank down the microphone for sure. But yeah, it was a, I, had a, I had a beautiful, my favourite moment of the Fringe, bringing back the sh- mixed shawarma kebab. Yeah. Never sick, never once. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, you better be correct, bastard. Yeah. Because if I go home and scat up the walls, I'll be back in here. That'd be so funny if he was flexing that, that he's never had like any illness, and then you just immediately get the skitter. Yeah, come back in. You fucking lied to me, sir. <laughs> I'm back that flat. See me coming? H block. Whole place. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it is funny to watch Bourdain, like... Yeah, you know, that was that was my, that was my French moment. Yeah, just by myself. I, w- I wasn't up that late, or like he's weren't out that long after me. Like, no, we were at like four. I, I thought you were gonna do an aisle six in the morning job. I woke up this morning. I wasn't even sure if he were back, but uh, I had the kebab watching Anthony Bourdain in Marseille. Worlds collide, man. He's sitting there eating vintage cheeses and all. You're, you're eating a Mexican kebab in your bed, now, uh, bro. Uh, never be sick. <laughs> never wants to be sick. I challenged myself one time, uh, lick a toilet. Still never sick. <laughs> the guy was, he was like, never sick, never sick. My teeth, like everything, hair, everything. Perfect, fresh, it's fresh. Was he in good looking neck like? He's just a small man. Yeah. Small Middle Eastern man. Because usually the boss men have kind of, you know, a bit of ton fellas. Like. Yeah. I get high on my own supply. Yeah, they get the boss man good. Yeah. But maybe he just works long hours and then just fucking full pizza wrap at the end of the day yeah 100 which is it must be a technique because they do that in vietnam because obviously it's like fucking 700 degrees they, they eat light they get a wee bit of fruit chill out eat something else small and then way late at night when it's cooled down they eat fucking nine kilos of rice and fall asleep on anything that's the way to do it that's probably the right way to live like you know don't be these boys will just is they'll be like I'm, I'm, I'm going to i'm going to sleep now for the night time not, they're not going to bed. Yeah. They're just like, I'm going to put a fucking rolled up t-shirt on my head on this table and they'll get a few hours kept. Yeah. And then they're back up. That does sound like luxury, actually. Tell you what, I could have went to the Land of Nod after that breakfast today. The Land of Nod. Big fat breakfast. <laughs> Lovely wee haggis disc. Oh, the haggis, man. Come on. Haggis is fucking great. Haggis is lethal if, you know, if you don't like it, grow up. Don't tell me what's in it. Yeah. Give me 14 of them. What is it? Sheep it's dick? Like sheep guts boiling uh, no itself? i think that's a myth i think the i think what it's held in is like a sheep mm-hmm. something you know in a, wee, in a wee rugby ball shape let's give it a gig uh, give it a gig and then they cut it into slices what but, is haggis what is haggis what was the deal with haggis? scottish dish consisting of a sheep or calves offal mixed with a suet oatmeal and seasoning and boiled in a bag <laughs> Traditionally, one made from the animal's stomach. Man, the things I'm found on the side of this couch here. What'd you get? Small dinosaur. We drank it. <laughs> Adorable. Put it up there. Oh, what else have we got here? Full packet of crisps. Unbelievable. But I, uh, yeah, once again, we're back on chatting about food. I had like fucking dickheads just ran down. Yeah, yeah geez. Mackie and Ramen. Mackie oh. Ramen brought, brought Mike Rice into the public space. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> Guy's volume doesn't go below nine. He is like a dog of a lead, like. And he's wild. And if, I, if I'm eating with him in public again, I'll be like, well, come on, we'll eat this in the park. <laughs> Beside us, there was like some dad with his two kids. They yeah. look like they're on the spectrum. Yeah. Never come off the iPad the whole time. Yeah. And he's in the middle, just like, ah, sure, fuck, I should be out shagging. You know? I did I did hear him say something, and the the teenager beside him on the iPad did let it up. Yeah. Oh, we kind of know some. Oh, them, but they were getting a dinner and a show. Yeah, hundred percent. Slabbering at each other the yeah. whole fucking time. It was great. I ended up rightly looped yesterday, like during the sets, like our show. I was grand, and then after our show, had a few pints, a couple of beers. We ran into the condition of you. We ran into them we too. Did. What a flashback! Unbelievable. She had a bracelet uh, filled with spicy tequila. The, the condition of you. The condition of you. She was in good nick. She was. She was fine. You know. Uh, barely recognised her. Yeah, and she wasn't De- slipping off tables. Deconditioned. Deconditioned. And then, she, uh, yeah, she had a brace. That's one of these like sneak your drink in the place. Yeah. And it was. She's like, oh, I've, had a, I've had two bangles full of fucking tequila. <laughs> Looks like a big fat bangle. <laughs> what you say? You're like, uh, she's drunk or something. You were like, calm down. I only have one bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> the condition of you. Fuck off, man. I've only had two bangles. And to be fair, you'd rather just not take the drink than wear the bracelet because she looked like a fortune teller. Yeah, well, like a I, I, bracelet. I tried it on, wouldn't go on. Nah, did you get it on then? 
Your hand slipped through? Yeah, I can. I can. You could get yeah. it through. Uh, us chubby mitts over here couldn't get it. Nah. Just getting her stuck in there. Get through that. Couldn't get it through. I don't know what we'd have to wear to sneak drinking. A flavor of flav clock. Yeah. <laughs> Just a fuck. You, 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 I could probably just get that ten glass in my pocket. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> People would just be like, "Oh, that's another roll of fat." <laughs> I told you about the big batty gal worked in a place I used to work in, uh-huh. and she got into a nightclub with a bottle of Malibu between her cheeks, which is so horny. That, I was about to say that's the horniest thing I've ever heard. She's like, "I don't want a bit of this Malibu." And you're like, <laughs> Malibu between the cheeks? Yeah, just put the stem. You've seen a bottle of Malibu? It's like a long stem and a bulbous end. Oh, why? Which is what I had after she was telling me that. I actually just jammed it up her crack. And then the sort of, you know, where your, where your cheeks end on your arse cheek. Yeah. Meet your legs. Yeah. The little bulbous bit set in there. I mean, really, it's like, like I definitely sneak in an airport. Uh, you know, like then we uh, travel fucking bottles. Yeah. I could definitely put that up my arse. Oh, definitely. Not up, but sorry, but like in just, between the cheeks. Just, keep, just clench between it. Between the cheeks. Just cl- clench it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. You, I'd love to see you get a cavity search. I could do three probably. You line them up my crack? Yeah, well, that's a half bottle. 100%. Just get a half bottle in there. <laughs> I couldn't do a full half bottle, but I could make it up over three wee ones. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or you could just drink them. They'd be lukewarm. Just be oh, pished. Yeah. Like, put them in a hot press. Oh, God. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I shit so bad, too, sir. You do? Yeah, too. <laughs> yeah, right now. <laughs> right now. Oh, I've already done your pre podcast rituals. I know. Fifth, <laughs> this is what Aaron requires before we record 15 albums back to back <laughs> through a raspy speaker, a shower, then he's ready, then he has two more pisses. Correct. And now you need a shite. I, I haven't been shiting at the rate that I th- I should be shiting with the shite of it. Oh, you've done well, shite ways. Like, I'm, I'm due an absolute fucking log. Are you nodding your head in agreement? Have you dropped oh, the... Have you dropped the... Jesus. On a late night? <laughs> Full parcel? Yeah, when I went back and then came out again. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, After yeah. the gig? Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Just logged it out. Was that your swarm of shit? Did you not shit before that? <laughs> what? That was your first shit yesterday? No, no, no. I was going to say, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> the appetizer. A wee celebration. And the main dinner, right in the bowl. You have a dessert today, though. But, like, the, the quantity we've had, I, I'm expecting it's, to just be logging it. We should I'm not be really. dead. Like, like no. we should have some kind of ailment. Yeah, obesity, I was called. <laughs> I think. I need to go extreme. I need to go. Uh, I remember seeing on, like, Lad Bible or something. Like, it was like, this lad moved to, like, you know, Mar- Marbella for. Th- six months didn't tell anybody and came back like nine stone lighter because he just he was just like i have to go it has to be different i have to go somewhere else not be around the normal people and mm-hmm. just focus on one thing and he came back like a different man yeah and he opened, he's irish like so he opened the door and everyone's saying like fucking hell james the fucking champion <laughs> they were freaking out just because he was so hot and sexy now well he wasn't sexy like he's still an irish guy like yeah you still keep the sp- if you've got the spot head, you keep the spot head. Oh yeah, you never lose the spot head. You know, it's funny even being in, in fucking New York and like being at a bar. You can never get away from Tyrone. Doesn't matter where you go, you'll never get away from Tyrone. Because like I'll be in a bar and I'll like you know you overhear sound bites of different conversations. Yeah, and you'll hear like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna go to the party because to be honest with you, Mercedes is like kind of being real shady. And then mm. you'll have like a guy in the corner being like, dude, I don't fucking know, man. The tailgate was pretty lit, but then we went to the party. She was in front of folks, so I don't know. And then out of the corner, you'll just hear, come here, let tell you. <laughs> and I'm like, holy fuck, sir. It never leaves. The fucking price of drink right there. And you want to even put in the glass? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, last night was fun, though. We were there, the lights were on too now, weren't we? Yep. Mopping around your feet and all, weather. Singing the chapel room, fucking getting all animated and all, dancing about. Yeah, that's fun, boy. Oh, why? Set up, set up one of the boys. Keep the name off the cast, but that is hilarious. That you're like walking through Edinburgh and some McCann, and it's one of the sauna. The, sa- uh, the sauna six. Desi, shout out Desi Con now. Shout out to Fucking Desi. Unbelievable. Couldn't believe it. Jim McCann wouldn't recognize me with clothes on. <laughs> How's them tits then? Did you say I missed them tits being about no? And it was great too. We got to meet his wife. Some Didn't leg about her. Some leg room in that sauna. We <laughs> away to New York City. He says, you're the first thing he goes, he goes, oh, you're badly must. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's not the same now, trying to drum up conversation with them, all right, boss. I remember the first time meeting Dad. Juicy Foot McGee. <laughs> 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 first 
Hem, wa- hem wat zest. <laughs> First time being dead, we were in the we were in the sauna, and there was like a couple of a couple of young whippersnappers, and they were up in the top deck. A couple of young girls, you know, where it's like so hot. Me and him were on the ground floor. Two of us glistening, two big gammons, and they they got off the top deck. Yeah, and then when they walked out, that's turning me and goes, "Yeah, I'm young cubs there, right? Jeez, they think they think you know they think sitting up there, big men, all that. Good yeah. night, fuck all." <laughs> and that's when we became best friends. Yeah, you're not impressing anybody in here sitting up on the top deck. Yeah, uh. Sana is that man kingdom, like you know. He runs the place. But I seen him yesterday, it was so funny. And then um met Mike Rice for dinner, did the best Northern Ireland show. That was a lot of fun. That's great fun now. How'd you get on? Because I had to I had the dip as soon as I did my set. I really enjoyed it. Yep. And the oldest couple in there now said the the, the old boy was doubled doubled in half, laughing at me. Nice. Ha 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 laugh that Nice. Bit of filth, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, I make I like making the focus laugh. I know some they're the best sometimes, you know. Yeah. Get these young woke fucking pansies. Yeah. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh on. What's the bit fucking triggering? And then I did Vittorio's crowd work show. That was fun. I was pretty hammered for that. There was a bit where like so he's like talking to the audience and he's getting all these different tales and stories and whatnot. And there was a couple there and I guess it was like was it like an advice section or something? Or like help me out? But the girl was saying that she's like, am I the asshole here because I want my boyfriend to unfollow these like basically Instagram ass models. Okay. <laughs> but um, <laughs> now the, the more she kept talking, the more originally everyone was kind of like on his side, then switched to her side and back and forth because she was like, well, yeah, the problem is, is that he knows a few of them. So he's obviously maybe gotten with a few of them before or something like that. Uh. And then I I came on stage, Vittorio introduced me on, and I was, well, like, you know, me and fucking Rice were in the back, you know, smashing drinks. I brought a Cap Morgan Coke on stage because I know Vittorio likes that. Bad Pinged dude. mine, and majorly just ignorant as sin, like the whole time. I had total contempt for the audience, was having a belter of a time. And the woman said, uh, I goes, where's that couple? Where she wants him to unfollow the Instagram models. And then Vittoria pointed them out. And I was like, which one is it? And I looked at the guy. And I was like, and which one's your girlfriend? And sir, she was like, Pocahontas. She was like, absolutely stunning. Uh And I goes, see what you do, son. You want to follow those young sluts? (laughs) Because you got steak at home, lad. Uh, You go wired into these chicks. Yeah. (laughs) I see when you said ass models, I went on the Instagram. Just, I know I seen you there. I just, I just, <laughs> He's I, going. I just, I just typed in. I was like, I wonder, is there a hashtag ass models? Sure enough, there is. Ass is a plenty here. Have a go at that, would you? Have a go at that, would you? <laughs> have a go. Well, have a go. Well, have a go at that. Well, a fella. Have a go at that, would you? <laughs> ass model stealing a living. Yeah, you're leaving money on the table. I know. I wonder, like, if I if I got it juiced up and put it. No face, no case. How much could I make? Yeah, because yeah, you you would go like. Um, did we go through the gay the gay categories one time? Would you be bear status? Or are you not hairy enough? No, I'm not hairy enough. I'm an otter. Chunky otter. Chunky otter. But ass model. Like ass model you know, otter. Too, I don't have enough chest hair or back hair to be considered a bear. Yeah. The gays love like you know, there's so much. Our and Jeff was giving me like a crash test course it, and there's so much like categorization and like you know. You can't go in a relationship if you're both bottoms. Like, it sounds, there's a lot of technicalities to it. Like. Both bottoms? Just banging your arses together? <laughs> this isn't working. Yeah. Just essentially <laughs> scissor each other? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Get that screen wash into you. But yeah, we were at a fucking lights run last night. Party boys. Out of control. Couldn't be stopped. Yeah, my, my version of yeah a quiet night was just, just drinking the tea. Going home. Tell you what though, so you ever walk on a place and you're like, I could, if, if they give me the ox, the vibe would be very different right now. Yeah, you should have said that. I should have said that. Give me that ox, please. That's my, that's, that would be, I would come to the fringe just to do a month long ox DJ set. You could do that, it would be better than 90% of the shows happen. 100%. Getting flowers for all sorts of bollocks. I would love that. Oh yeah, what, what would I get today? The old get? The old get? <laughs> what, what did he say? Because we walked past, we were like, oh sorry mate, but he like... Some people just give you a flyer and they're like, oh, free comedy. He said something like, did you ever see someone so crazy? Something. What did he say? 
Do you ever see something so crazy you can do something with a laugh or something? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Fuck off. We got a good one, yeah. So then when we were walking through, it's like, uh, guys, you want to see this hilarious person? It's me. Yeah. That Asian guy? Yeah. <laughs> That's the sort of shit would sell. Yeah. The Flyerns is out of date. I don't know why. The Flyerns, well, you know, it's a soul destroying experience. I do remember, like, first two fringes, Flyer and myself. And you just feel like a complete... And then if the person does come to the show, you're almost ashamed. Yeah. Cause so, I'm so sorry, man. Yeah. No, I think that what really works is, you know, anything down near the Three Sisters there, and it's like a comp show, and you're able to just to walk out and be like, best of Northern Irish, starting in five minutes, if mm-hmm. you want to go in. Well, the Three Sisters is good, because it's like all them fucking tables at the front and all, so you can't just walk out, scream that, and see who comes in. There was uh, a couple of hotties walking around in the building last night. There was. And, I, and they were in very formal gear. I don't know whether they'd just been to dinner or something, and they were walking in front of me, and there's these just... No harm to any English people listening to this. They're just big floppy haired fucking English dildo, you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And this girl walks up and took a sharp left into the toilet, and this guy is like walking along with the curtains, and he just went, he's, <laughs> it's quite funny. He just seen her and just went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he just went, oh, fuck. <laughs> And I was thinking it also, but you know, I didn't say it out loud. Oh my God, that's oh, so funny. fuck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Have you ever been on a yacht, you young slut? <laughs> my father has a yacht, if you want to be on a yacht. Did he, did he have them vibes? Like, oh, that fucking, is a yacht vibes? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Blonde curtains. You know, kind of <sighs> some sort of fancy, like, sweatshirt. White trousers. Man, I don't know what it is. Like some people, Fuck! Some people call it Riz, but sometimes you see people like, you ever watch a guy try and like, you know, play the field in the night out? Yeah. Absolutely embarrassing. Absolutely terrible. Embarrassing? You had to do it uh, with rice? Yeah. That's, oh, the, no, that's no, no. the Irish way to do it. Here, you go, my mate. But I, well, he was, you know, he was standing at the bar and, you know, there was a cut and I could see her chatting to her mates and she was like, you know, very like dreamy eyed, you know? And, uh, I turned around her and I was like, you trying to get his attention? And she was like, uh, I mean, and then she just kind of went, I got there and I goes, Michael, come around here to fuck off some Irish chat that's got it. And then I fucked off. <laughs> Still a black over here? I know. And then she went, the fucking, mm. and I was like, you're welcome, you ignorant bastard. you. What was that? Yeah, mm-hmm. kissing. Oh, kissing. It was my kissing. It was my kissing. <laughs> 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 but, uh, no. I might, might try that tonight. What? Kissing? Just walk past people and go, oh, fuck. <laughs> mm. Fuck. It was funny because it was like involuntary. You yeah. Know? You, you might be thinking it. Oh, bosh. Was he, was he in earshot of her? Like, would you right in front that? of her. You know, they were like bustling through the hallway. Did she react? No. I think so. I think she was about 18. Oh, God. You know, and this guy's like, fuck. <laughs> you know. About to catch a case. About to catch a case. Daddy will pay it off. Don't worry. <laughs> Luckily, Daddy's a lawyer. Drink this special drink that shouldn't be fizzy, but is fizzy. Jeffrey's Sleepy Time Tea. <laughs> Have one of those, and we'll hit the yacht. <laughs> oh, I just rifted. Oh. <laughs> Our trumpet, Goldrin. What about us sitting in that restaurant the other day, and uh, they, were, they had the flyover from the planes? The what? Like the oh, yeah. went over. Oh, I thought the word was ending. It's I know, but it's fun to know that if it was ending, all you do is sit there and go, "What is that?" You know, <laughs> it could be you know. But should we die together, boys? Could have been a drone strike. I'm like, "What is that?" <laughs> That's pretty much your, all you're gonna get out of someone. Yeah, nuclear warhead hitting the place. And you're like, "What the fuck is that there?" <laughs> There's fighter flight or just stay. You know, <laughs> fighter flight or just chill. <laughs> fighter flight or trying to eat the starters qu- quicker. Oh, uh, if you knew you were getting a drone strike, like you'd eat one last cloister, and you're like, <laughs> you're like, so I'm gonna go, I might as well go full. Mouth full. What the fuck are I? Some racket off it all the same. But it is just like, out here is just, I don't even, like the idea of doing the full month now actually makes me sick. Oh, you couldn't do it. I, I don't like, I don't like just being, a, some people do like it, you know, in the middle of this mixed freak show. But yeah, I just stand there and be like, get me out of here. Yeah. Fucking weirdos. A, yeah. Guy, a guy doing a show, uh, there's a girl, there was a girl as well doing some cabaret thing, like getting changed in the hallway before the show. Oh, yeah. You know, you kind of like, this kind of rips the, the showbiz out of 
the showbiz, you know? Yeah, there's some like weird, weird events. Like there was a Shrek burlesque, Shrek Lask on last night that Erica went to and she was showing me videos of it and I was like, that's absolutely packed out. There's like a friend of people watching us. And it's like some some uh, doll and like kind of like granny pies. Yeah. Hoop out with a gingerbread fucking mask on. Nice. The crowd's going mad. <laughs> nice. It's pretty horny. It is pretty horny. Mm. Sorry, I'm fucked. <laughs> no harm to man nor beast. I'm not well. I'm going to have to drive home uh, at three in the morning tomorrow night, so I'm going to be doing fuck all till then. But then you're on your holidays. Then I'm on my holidays. Then I have to get up about three o'clock again, mm-hmm. wake my son up, mm-hmm. and then get him to the airport. Yeah. You know, and try and, try and navigate that. I don't know. What do, you, what do you do? Put the kid in the jammies? Keep him in the jammies? Keep him in the jammies. Just wake him up. Like, what the fuck going on here? Yeah. You want to have the kid in the jammies, dude? Into the car. And away we go. Yeah. I got to fucking go Monday. Fly back to New York. Wednesday, I'm in Atlantic City, which looks like Bandorn of AIDS, like terrible looking place. And then Friday, going to Bacon. That's my plan for the week. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> oh, why? Why? Them headboards safe, are they? <laughs> the headboard breaker? That's if you're a pro wrestler. The headboard breaker? Smash, pull, a, pull a headboard out from under the ring. Smash it with the head with it. Oh, he's put up through the headboard again! <laughs> Fuck it's, off the headboard! <laughs> Broken in half! Macho McCann has brought, got another headboard out. What did I say earlier? I was like, I don't know what the fuck she says. Maybe she must have like a heap kink. <laughs> No, you said you're right, and then you're like, sorry, I don't know, these women can smell it off you that you're taking. Oh, I swear to God. Fanny thrown at you? No, no attention for, you know. Ah, can we get attention? Now? Come a wee on, bit of attention, but like, non, non crazy, and then, you know, meet, uh, meet this lady, and, you know, full blown relish, which is mental, and, you know. You go in the public, and these guys are like, on. oh, he's worth taking. Yeah. Let me have a go. Yeah. And you're like, get behind me, Satan. Yeah. Tata slot. Tata slot. Off you fuck. Uh, yeah, heap kink. Yeah. She must have a heap kink. That's your only fans. Heap kinks. Heap kink. Any other heap any other girls out there have a heap kink? Buttery ass pictures. Buttery. <laughs> <laughs> Buttery. <laughs> oh. There has to be though. A heap kink? A heap kink. I'm pretty sure she has it, like. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's a hot mess. Yeah. Scuzzy. Scuzzy. She loves both scuzz. I know, but there's, there, you know, you could be a dude into some scuzzy girls. Yeah. You know, some girl comes in and man, she's wild. Chip nail polish and, you know. I, I don't I don't get it. Fair play to her. She sent me like a picture of her in the courtroom. She's like wearing a fucking blazer and all shirt. Yeah. Looking like something out of suits. And then I was like, I have no pictures to send you right now. I'm sitting here glistening in the sun. <laughs> Drinking Baja. Getting blasted on the Bajas. Yeah, someone having a real serious professional job. Then you're here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Well, it's the you know, kind of performing aspect to it too, right? In the courtroom and all. Oh, right. You know? I thought you were talking about us. Yeah. <laughs> it's performance, in a way. No, not really. Yeah. What did you, what did you get? Although it is hilarious. I mean, the, we talked about it the other day. The disrespect we have for show business. I, but I like that, you know? The disrespect. You know? And then you do get people leaving, being like, best show I've seen at the Fringe and ever mm-hmm. and i'm like it wasn't even a show yeah do we bit the gather he does a bit i do a bit yeah that's it double crowd work at the start that's it who we having yesterday now crowd work wise what was the crack uh audience members were offering us drugs after i guy had uh he didn't say it out loud but he goes oh do you want a wee bit of, it's a liquid version of you know and i was like what vitamin d what is it and then he's just like <laughs> And I was like, I'll stick the blue rose. Like, the man's the guy's vaping coke. Yeah. <laughs> which which, you know, to be fair, less messy. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be taking that off a fucking toilet seat in monkey bar. But he's you know, you're sort of like, nah, I'm all good, man. Yeah. It's been also up, at a comedy show? I'm like, it's been up your nostril all night and you want me to fucking go toosies on it? Liquid cocaine at a comedy show. Yeah. Fucking hell, bro. I you know what's the, the latest mess I've seen? What's that? Seen a guy with an e-cigar. How the fuck does that even work? It looks this like, looks like an e-cigar. No, 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 no that looks like a can of links. Yeah. Yeah, this, <laughs> this looked like a fucking, like a cigar. And he went, and it lit up at the end, and then he blew something out, but it wasn't a cigar. Because he just took it and put it in his pocket. The e-cigar. 
Did we not smoke a cigar last time? Where? Last Fringe. We might have. I'm pretty sure, like, last show, we all went and, like, got a drink and then bought cigars. What a bunch of wild And I pretended things. to like it. It's disgusting. It's a waste Fucking of, rotten. It's a full waste of time. I swallowed the first one by mistake. <laughs> oh, you get high as fuck. Oh, my God. What, rotten. And you fill it the next day in your throat. It's a lot of, it's a lot of tobacco in one go. You smoke 40 pounds when you fill that? Yeah. You take one swallow of a cigar and fucked. <laughs> Razor <Swallowed>. throat. <laughs> I yeah. did. I swallowed it. It is a pointless endeavor when you think about it. Cigars? They were like, just, just fucking waft it about your mouth. Yeah. Why? Get it in my lungs. Kill me. I guess if, if you actually do buy like a high-end one, you know, it's probably like smoky and luxurious with a whiskey. I did, I did get a hand-rolled one in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Guy was had a wee stall and he would just roll you one. And I got, a, pretty cool. I got a very sort of long, thinnish one, but it was very, very moist and fresh. Yeah. And I sat in the balcony like a fat wanker. <laughs> But it was, the, it, it was a nicer experience than other ones I've had. Yeah. Where some dry, dry old shite. We should smoke rollies in the park today. Anything that stops you jipping. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've had too much Baja. <laughs> blasted. The Baja's activated. I am blasted. I'm actually Baja blasted. Yeah, we've got to get in that park for a minute. Like, we've, yeah. got, we've got a late... <coughs> a late <laughs> we've got a late show today. <laughs> ah, fuck. We've got a late show. You know, might as well enjoy, right, you know, plant some stuff in the park. Yeah. Sit there, bag out, as you said. Plant in the park. Sunburner bags. Yeah, 100%. Could you sunburn the bag? I love that park life. Good fast. Park life. I, I wake up in the morning, you know, but like, people do whatever they want in that park. Do you know? There's no one going like, look, oh, this wanker brought his own kettlebell to the park. You can do that. Oh, yeah, you can do yeah, it. I was it. fucking twat doing like planks in the park. You can do whatever you want. There's no rules in the park. Yeah, one time you're scanning it, you're like, this guy's juggling. These, these boys are playing fucking frisbee in the rain. People doing planks. Yep. Do whatever you want out there. Loose your arms. And they're very, very, it seems like a very safe park, you know, people, people just walking, like girls walking along with fucking headphones on two in the morning, mm-hmm. chilling. Oh yeah. I saw one guy last night, it was a couple, girl and a fella, and the guy stopped and he tried to roll a, roll a, roll a, the wind blew it out of his hand. And he went, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Girl was double <laughs> laughing like, oh, I'm fucking sorry, man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's it, because they'd stopped under a lamppost. That's what they did. Yeah. They stopped under the lamppost for the, the light. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> just play onto the floor. That is terrible, though, to be fair. <laughs> what a fucking, you play that Daniel Powder song? He, he probably heard me from 20 meters away going, <laughs> dick, the head. Maybe just marching back with a kebab. Did I say Daniel Powder? Who sang Bad Day? Yeah, the I've bad had a bad day. Powder? Powder. I don't know. No, I think you're right. Daniel Powder? <laughs> <laughs> that was a guy with a fucking no spray no, coat. He was Danny Pouds. Had a... Liquid cocaine is crazy. Daniel Powder? Powder, that's it. That's your man with the rollies. Flying out of the hand. He was an avid beanie wearer, that guy. Powder? Yeah. Did he have any other songs, like, or was he the definition of... I think One Hot Wonder is a good thing to be, you know? Get in, get out, at a, cut the goose. At a certain time, it would have been a great thing to be. You know, if you were, if you really, really had a global hit, mm-hmm. one would do you, probably. Mm-hmm. Guy's probably in Hawaii, just fucking with the e-cigar, just chilling. Yeah, like the Baja man. The ride of my life, and I'm gonna cry. I just had the ride of my life, and I'm going to cry definitely at least once in this interview, so maybe it's going to come now. You do get emotional after the ride sometimes. Like, <laughs> no, it's the best ride of my <laughs> life. Uh, it's going to come now. Uh, I'm going to come. She will never live that down. No, that's funny, though. It's going to come now. Oh, it's going to come now. <laughs> Fair play there. What's her name? Abby Lyle. She follows, she follows me, anyway. Shout out. Shout out, big horsewoman. And then this was a funny sketch I seen. Uh, they were like, "This is this is how she should do interviews." Mm-hmm. Oh shit! So I'm here with Abby Lal, who's just finished her test. So that looked like a great ride. How was it for you? The equitation I just participated in was successful. Thank you. <laughs> is there anything you would change about the great ride you just had? In this most recent performance of specifically dressage, (laughs) no, I would not make any alterations. Thank you. Unbelievable. But it is what I would say. It's funny to us because 
But if you were actually a horse person, you'd be saying riding all day. Oh yeah. I'm going going riding this morning. Did a bit of riding last night. I prefer to ride in the morning. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. But then you hear it with fresh ears, and you're like, Yeah, I mean, I had the best it, ride of my life. It does go to show how much uh, of children we all are. Yeah, it's like when you go to your first jujitsu class, and they're like, "Do not be coming in here with a sweaty gi. <laughs> Make sure to wash and disinfect your gi before you come in here." <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny in the first class, you're like, ah! "Well, you should as well." Like, Wash your gay? Yeah. Yeah, whether it's your jiu-jitsu gay. Sink. <laughs> Wash your gay in the sink. Wash your gay in the sink. I was laughing yesterday whenever I was chatting to Rice, and I was like, you know, naming a show is like probably one of the worst parts of bringing a show to the fringe. Yeah. Like, you spend way too much time in the name. You're like, is it going to be a theme in the show, whatever? Is it like a pun? Yeah. It's just, like, you know, it's a fucking nightmare. And I was like, I think me and him should do a thing where we name each other's. And like people know it, but we just try and dog each other as badly as we can. Yeah. And I can't remember what his one for me. What was his one for me? I said mine for him was. Oh, uh, Mara McCann, you'd have to dig me out of her or something. <laughs> and I said for him, Michael Rice, I'd drink her bath water. <laughs> Which I could see that poster. Yeah. Yeah. Saltburn vibes. And it would probably sell because of how fucked the name is. Yeah. It'd be easy though to just do one that people, you know that people hate you know yeah. people get real fired up about tell you what race does a great paisley he does very good paisley does a great paisley i can't remember why he was doing the voice yesterday but any excuse for him to bring out the paisley yeah uh what would be a full one like an, at a liberal arts festival what would drive people nuts i mean we've seen that poster for what was it the andrew tate appreciation society yeah and it's andrew tate kissing Prince Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> it looked like me, though. I took a picture of it. <laughs> what would you do at the fringe and piss people off? Just write something like fucking... Aaron McCann. The UK's full. Or so- <laughs> Aaron McCann. Women, eh? Question mark. Yeah. Rants about my old ball and chain. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's going to send me down a wormhole now. McCann. Colin Geddes actually says it. <laughs> Life at the French. Only only one left for the balls to say it. Colin Geddes says what you're thinking. <laughs> and I've got a microphone in my head, I guess. <laughs> yeah, caution tape around your mouth. Yeah. Ooh, oh, you sick and twisted. You bad pup. Don't you be saying that out loud. Say all the worst stuff. Colin Geddes. Dark stuff. The yeah. dark stuff. Dark. The black stuff. <laughs> <laughs> McCann, born in the darkness. Darkness. Oh, well, we had the best show name of all time last time. Me and William Thompson doing a split bill called The Badness. And the poster is me and him, a picture that I think Niall took, where it's us in the flat tops off, tits out, vaping. Both of us that didn't ripping happen. clouds at that the same time. That didn't happen, did it? The show? The Badness? No. Oh, that should happen. The badness should happen. And it's just me and him doing the worst things we can think of. I'm a can comedy bad boy. Yeah. Mm. What's he going to say next? I'm a can the queers. Do we need them? <laughs> <laughs> do we need them? <laughs> now we do. Great crack. <laughs> crack. Great crack. He, he's clear. I don't know what I do about the Tazin, Jeff. Where, where did we get confused today? Because we were sitting and eating breakfast, and then across the road there was uh, a drag bar. And then you said something like, Do you know? And then you said something, and I, and I was like, Is that a drag queen? <laughs> what were you talking about? What the fuck was it again now? But you were talking about something totally different. I can't remember. Ah, fuck it. Was it like a dish or something? Cut that out. Uh, something like that. Come mind. Ah, fuck it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it anyway. I was watching a video last night, and uh, there were, this guy put. He, he's like, "Watch this for a coincidence." And the Nickelodeon logo that we splat, same shape as Epstein's Island. Ah, oh, sir, come on now. Me with kebab running down my face, <laughs> being like, "Oh my god!" 
<laughs> is it actually though? Yeah. Should the Nickelodeon logo is a splat? Yeah, but it's the same shape. You couldn't as... have land that looks like that. Yep, I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh shit. I've had the ride of my life. Oh, <laughs> so your algorithm is mad. I know. Can't open my phone anyway. It's just fucking. It's just like Ted's and UFC compilations. <laughs> <laughs> Trainers. Yeah, I'm a real man. You are. So alpha. <gasps> Ren and stamping. Fucking up in the ass with a saw. Nickelodeon's Portuguese for I don't care about God. <laughs> it's a stretch. I'll give you that. It definitely is. It definitely it is. It just looks like a splat. Yeah. Well, splat that's, like. That's, that's, when, you, when you boys are out partying, I'm doing the real. I'm doing <laughs> oh, the real. Yeah, you're putting the, you're putting the word right. I'm doing the real work at home. <laughs> I'm taking that tinfoil off my kebab and making a hat. <laughs> I just said, if you covered in shawarma, being like, fuck, it all lines up. It all lines up here. <laughs> Here, you're gonna have to prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like Keezy in a shed. Oh, it's so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do love the idea of just like his birds out there, is just like sitting at the get off, like reading stuff like that and going, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It all lines up. How do, how, do, how do you even like begin to think about comparing those two shapes? Do you know what I mean? Well, it's it's only because of Are the you fact. Googling it on your phone and then watching it on the TV and you go, <sighs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> it is though, it's like, you know, it, well, it's obviously because of that uh, quite on set thing just came out. Yeah. And so they're like, someone's just looked at it and been like, oh, I love the, the, the logos are splat. Pull up Epstein's Island real quick there. And then they put the two side by side. They're like, Jesus Christ, the Jesus devil lives Christ. amongst us. Drops his cup in slow motion. Yeah. It's the same as we were playing Black Sabbath earlier, jamming. And uh, it's like the way that the parents used to be like, if you play the song backwards, you can hear like satanic yeah. voices and shit like that. Yeah. Stretch. You don't even, you don't have to play Black Sabbath backwards, you just play it forwards. Mm -mm. It's dark as shit. Yeah. It is very haunting music. It is. Scary yeah. music. Dark. I don't know what uh, the scenario is to be. I don't know if I could call about listening to it. Like, Although I listen to war pigs, I'll tell you what, when I hear them drums go boom, 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 boom in the headphones, makes me want to fucking fight someone on the biker gang. <laughs> I love, because uh, you're such a deep hip hop head, mm -hmm. you discovering sort of classic rock. Man, I've got range. Oh, you do? A lot of shape. <laughs> the most random pile of shape. It's insane. Yeah, I love it. I'll be listening to fucking Chapel Roan, followed by... War Pigs, yeah, by Black Sabbath, yeah. followed by uh, Four Tops, yeah. Oh, sir, don't even get me started. They're playing that yesterday. And Mac and Ram and I in here, fucking bust. If <laughs> you got that really sad video of me hitting the gong, oh, do I? Oh, fuck. I don't actually. Because <laughs> we actually forgot. About weirdly, that. you know, I enjoy nothing less than drawing attention to myself, <laughs> which is not a great way to be as a live performer. <laughs> oh, I love <laughs> speaking of War Pigs. <laughs> Just show me a picture of my cock. Uh, <laughs> 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 that looks like your cock, me. <laughs> Man, what a fucking idiot. I hate myself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now you're loved. <laughs> <laughs> what a wanker. Tell you what, like, not a lot of gunk of that. Not a gunk. It's not a real gunk, or like, it's not a real gunk. Nah. Like, there's fucking. A real one's metal, though, is it not? Or what's that? Yeah, I think that's just like a big wardrobe. You want the fucking... <laughs> yeah, this is like a... Like a this is like a sheepskin. Show me rice tongue in this fucking hape. Oh, you did him dirty there. <laughs> She's like full. <laughs> what's he whispering to her there? So childish, like us, someone you do yeah, like, 14, like, but I couldn't help it. Do you like that? Do you like that bit of fucking... I have a stone <laughs> that I whisper yeah. to. She's like, is that your stone rubbing against me? Are you just happy to see me? <laughs> no, that's my stone now. No, I've manifested a room. That's my stone. Don't fucking touch it. <laughs> Rice is, is a very lovable old character. Like, when he gets a few drinks, something gets very sentimental and all. Oh, nice. he's touchy. Yeah, he's cute. He, he walked you the whole way down the street, massaging your shoulders. Yeah, he's a wee cutie. Wee cutie. <laughs> he's a wee cute boy. 
it's funny there was a guy uh we were in the green room last night and there was dad Tiernan, who's fucking hilarious and his mate and i was saying his mate was saying like he got awarded like bold to show at the fringe yeah and he was like yeah i don't know what they're trying to say you know it kind of feels like a little bit backhanded and i was like sir you're telling me this why you're putting a rubber glove on your foot mm-hmm like he was getting ready for a show, putting a rubber glove on his foot. Thank fuck we don't have to do any sort of like. <laughs> we don't even have to put trousers on. About. Yeah, we don't, we don't even put. Dress. We don't even put trousers. We don't even arrive on time. We don't even shower. Fucking rooms full of people, and we're walking past the crowd. Like, sorry, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, we gotta buy Merlin a gift. Sign tag. We had some laugh. There's there's a tech called Merlin. He's and he is a wizard. He is an absolute wizard. He's a young wizard and. Uh, you know, he said something about him being off or something. You're like, oh, is Merlin on the rip last night? And then we were joking, like he's having a couple of potions. <laughs> potion bombs? Uh, uh, potion bombs. Jackie potions. Jackie potions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Merlin full of the elixir last night, I'm telling you. I swear, the idea of the anyone... elixir and cokes, he was wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of anyone ever giving him shit, I'd fucking kill them. Oh my God, I'd hit them with a chair. He's just a sweet baby angel. I'd fold up one of the metal chairs. Yeah. Clap them. 19 years of age and the cob, like... What was he flexing the Wi-Fi? Yeah, he's like, I set this Wi-Fi up. I can take anyone down. And <laughs> he runs the hell. He's like, anyone fucks with me, internet blackout. <laughs> Ruin their life, take their bank details and leave. He might be Mr. Robot. Yeah. Berlin. Yeah. He's probably anonymous or something. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he is the dark web, like. Yeah. He can do what he wants. Yeah. But, like, there was, we were joking about him before. Where he, like, they, they do have good tech in there, don't they now? Oh, yeah. And he can't, you know, you would ask someone in the waterfront, like, hey, do you have an HDMI to go in this? And they'd be like, what would that be now? The HDM, what? Let me write that acronym down. HDMI. Fuck, I haven't heard of that now. Do you remember we did a venue one time that couldn't figure out how to get a Spotify playlist? I, I was like, do you have Spotify? And the guy goes, where was I? And the guy's like, no, I've only got one fucking walk on song. Geordie guy. I was like, what is it? Spitfire by Prodigy? <laughs> I use it for fucking everything. Doesn't matter what they're doing. He's got fucking Spitfire by Prodigy. <laughs> you know? Some convention for fucking... I mean, if you're going to have one, like, you know. Peter's one well, has range. Yeah. <laughs> Anything we can walk out to that? <laughs> Hannah Gadsby live in Derry. <laughs> out to Spitfire. Well, what do they call me Spitfire? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys, that's the kind of one you got to walk out with a certain energy to. Did you walk out to it then? <laughs> I had no choice. It was either that or silence. <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess it's Spitfire then. <laughs> like from the start of the I was like, Jim and Oxley, they can plug my phone in. He was like, what? What? <laughs> Unbelievable. But then Merlin, you know, you're like, do you have an HDM? Yep. XLR, yep. And then they played the clip. To, or they, they're, they're a big fan of the clip in, uh, in the office up there. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, and immediately I got the panics because I was like, fuck, are we slobbering? <laughs> no, you wouldn't slobber about Merlin. You, you know if you'd been slobbering about Merlin. Your yeah. phone would just black out. And <laughs> you, you, you'd, be, you'd be driving your car and it would just swerve in the wall. You what the get, fuck's going on? You never get your deliveries again? No. <laughs> We're all being sent around in postcodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just dark web your life up. Nah, the, the monkey barrel staff are fucking tremendous. Oh, no. Couldn't ask for better. Free drinks and all crazy. Yeah, which I kind of, I like get guilt. I know you do get, you do get wild guilt. Yeah. You know? I bought like a fat round, like all doubles. You know, I was trying to get the boys fucked up. Fucked and, uh, up. Fuck. They wouldn't take a penny for it. And I was like, well, can I fucking tip or something? And then again, fucking chatting about them. The like, it had this like machine where it was like, pick your tip amount. And the highest you go was 15. And I was like, can you do like another amount around? But it was just 15. So I was like, right. And I went to scan out my phone. And then the thing wasn't working. And I, literally as I goes, I don't think this is working. Merlin appeared behind me. <laughs> like fucking chin on my shoulder. I sensed an issue. <laughs> <laughs> and then literally he did this shit. And it looked like Windows 95. Like a drop down menu, pile of code and all. And then the next thing you go, he goes, that should be good now. <laughs> and then sure enough, ping. Yeah. All hey, good. You give him 16 pounds. <laughs> Can you do more than that? Fifteen fifty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you appreciate it. You definitely appreciate it. Oh, I see him. But we found out after we recorded yesterday, the poor crypter got a taxi back to Glasgow. Fucking hell. We offered him the sofa. Like he had the sofa here, but he got lost in the sauce. Happens to the best of us. Lost in the dark. Yeah. Sometimes, like as he said, you just need your own bed. Yeah. 
Yeah, you'd bankrupt yourself just to get back to the gaff. But I think we were like, like, I well, I was about to say like we were drinking, but couldn't get drunk. But I did get drunk at the end. But there is a thing too of a two day bender, isn't it? Where like you're drinking, and you're like, I'll never achieve the state I was in. Last I'm night. terrible for it. Like, yeah. if I've done any damage, uh, what the night before, I might as well throw it down a fucking well. Yeah. Just because I'd quite on a on a no, on a normal night, if I drank what I drank last night, I'd have been fucking well chinned, like. I was grand, and then the old classic, that old chestnut, as soon as I got outside, had like a bus. Yeah. I was walking up them sets of steps there, that third that third set, and I was like, I might have to sit down here, you know? I love the idea of you just marching up them spiral staircase with a kebab in the hand. I know. people Giggling to yourself. Uh, you know, to get in the bed and it. I part that pavement, like. Yeah. I must just look like a lunatic walking <laughs> along. People just like... Get the headphones in, breathing weird. <laughs> Very good, you for having the patience to like wait till you get to the gaff. I can't. You have to shove it in the other. I have, as soon as it's out, I'm like, get it inside me. Well, it, you know, it was it was the longest walk I've ever done. Yeah. When you're, you know, because we yeah. walked a plenty, but like that walk, I was like, come on, now. Yeah. Get the foot down here. Do I get this kebab into me? Was it still like a good heat coming off it? By the time you got oh, into it, was the boiling. House? Was it actually it's boiling still? Fucking hell. Because they wrap it up and then they put it in a wee plastic bag. Oh, nice. So it was like fucking steamy still. Nice. Get the Bourdain on. That's horny. Get the dong out. Bourdain shawarma. Bourdain shawarma. <laughs> Fuck. The much you hadn't done this holiday? Oh, yeah. Are we talking fucking all inclusive? It's not all inclusive. I think it's. Um, you see, the one we were at before, you, you should have went all inclusive because there's loads of restaurants on the place and there's not much around it. Mm hmm. Whereas this is in a little port, so there there are places to go. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like half board or whatever, breakfast and lunch or something. Nice. Take yourself out for dinner. Nice. But you know, it's all about that breakfast buffet. Oh yeah. You just go ape shit at the breakfast buffet. Mm -hmm. What are you triple stacking hash browns or what? Uh you probably you know you can you take your time. Like you can go up, maybe do a bit of fruit, a bit of watermelon. Mm -hmm. We filter coffee. Nice. Back down, bit of yogurt maybe. Line the stomach. I just remember something. Sorry. Did I say yogurt and you freaked out? No. <laughs> and then you go. Then you go back up. Then you hit the fried goods. Yeah. You know. Uh, you know you can get all your bacon's or whatever. And then you come down. Maybe stand in line to get a fresh fried egg or something. Nice. Then you come back down another coffee, and then you go. Let me get my breakfast dessert. <laughs> and then you go back up for the crepes. Ah, oh, you gotta get something sweet. Get the crepes and the croissant. I saw a couple of boys eating crepes in the street last night. Street crepes. Send me in a mad notion for it. Savory or sweet? They look sweet, right now. Mm. Yeah. A couple of boys talking on the Milky Bar craps, two in the morning. <sighs> Bad boys. Class. I just remember what I remembered there was I owe the deli beside me $20. I, for <laughs> I forgot. Did you get $20 of yogurt off them? No, I went and remember the place I was telling you did the big fat sandwiches? Yeah. Like it was like a doorstop, like? Yeah. But I went in and I was, I was chatting to the fella. Uh, that day, you know? and uh, he was like, uh, <laughs> he was like, oh, I love the Irish, whatever. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh, fuck, lot of them. He's just seen your sign, it's cash only. I have to go back to the house here. And he goes, no, no, next time, next time. So I was like, okay. And then that was the sandwich at where I was supposed to meet a friend of the show, Amy Walsh, and she was like, I was sure eat your eat your dinner, and then sure I'll meet you after. And I had the two halves, and I woke up. And I had about seven missed calls from her. And I was like, this is too embarrassing to say. The reason why I've missed uh, our scheduled meeting tonight is because I've had a sandwich that was too big and I fell asleep. The sample put me straight to sleep. Land a nod, gone. Do you know people have horror stories about like when they used to be an alcoholic or something? Yeah. Like, and I drank and I fell asleep. And I, <laughs> and I, and I was in the hospital and I missed the whole wedding or something. That'll yeah. be you. <laughs> I swear to God. On a sandwich addict documentary in 10 years. But it was so good. Jesus Christ, it was great. I was putting the sandwiches before my family. <laughs> Had a big sandwich, missed all the good moments. I just remember exactly what happened to you. I was like, I'm just going to lie down for two seconds. And so the second my tummy touched that fucking mattress. <laughs> there is no, I never sleep as well as like a, on top of the duvet, sneaky, like, do you remember, do you remember we finished recording yesterday and I lay on the bed? I fell asleep. I fell asleep for 10 minutes. Yeah, me too. And I needed it. But that there is I've like... I've never been that cosy and tired at night. Those These rooms are like... 
whenever I'm whenever I like dream and sort of like think about what I would love my ideal sleep to look like, that's it. Big massive bed, thick fat duvets, seventeen pillows for no reason. I'll only use two of them. The rest of them can just be there for like a uh, comforter and a big old window open half that past. is that is absolute bliss breeze blowing in whether you're on holiday or you're in a nice spot like this or whatever see that crispy white bed so good. breeze coming in your bare ass so good. it's fucking 10 out of 10 have you had the ass out yet? if you like if you were in pro oh, why anyway quick quick card swap and we're back to the windy asses <laughs> yes no be, be that is bliss same. like put it this way see if you were in prison mm. and you're in prison and you're going you know, you're, you're letting your mind wander. And you're like, what would be perfect? It would be exactly that. Yeah. A, a crisp, big bed, white covers, window open, sun blaring <laughs> in. Ass out. And you just... <laughs> just blasting farts into the dusty air. Yeah, I had the ass out. Felt great. 10 out of 10. Fucking breeze in the hoop. You know, like when I go on holiday here, you know, maybe play outside, go in the pool with the family, come back to that hotel room in the afternoon. Couple of Pringles in bed. Everyone's watching a bit of cartoons. Mm. You can sort of drift off. Eddie's chilled out. Bless. That's, that's living right there. Bless. I've had 14 Nutella croissants <laughs> for breakfast. I can't have them. For a swapping day. <laughs> I did speed it Nutella one time, though. Just see Stop. You, you've, told, you've told me this before. That's ho- such horseshit. I swear to God. You can't, like, s- bypass an allergic reaction because you had a cold. But it's not, it's not. No, but I wanted to taste it. Yeah. I still got it. Yeah. But it's not like severe. Just get like a wild itchy tongue. <laughs> you ever get an itchy tongue? Fucking ruin your day, sir. <laughs> Trying to have a conversation with people and you're like, my fucking tongue feels like they're dancing it. Dancing, tongue dancing. I heard it the whole day. <laughs> not that great, like. Nutella? Yeah, it's just Shut like, the fuck it's, up. It's grand. Like, I'd rather have it's like a. absolutely unbelievable. There's nicer like chocolate spreads. Like what? Cadbury's. Cadbury's do a chocolate spread. Mm-hmm. I don't. Yeah, but the, Nutella's not chocolate. And then there's the fucking like Beskoff. Don't like Beskoff. The spread though, nice. Mm. No, sometimes you know Nutella is the absolute like I'm an adult. I probably shouldn't be having this. And I'll make Eddie a wee pancake or something. And I'll lick the spoon. And I'll just be like, for fuck's sake, my boys. Speaking, speaking of which, <laughs> speaking of shouldn't be having this because I'm an adult. Me get my chocolate milk a, in a can. A can of chocolate milk, lads. Now that with a bit of born Irish in it would be ten out of ten, probably. Uh, I don't know. Now after yesterday's experiment, I think I'm just gonna drink her with a bit of coke. If they broke, don't fix it. Some ponga. He's crazy. Like an Easter egg. I told you about getting the the yop or whatever it was one time and pulling the lid off and ha- necking it and it was off. Oh, I was about, sir. I was about fucking, oh. I was about five gulps into it. I was like, oh. 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 fuck. Did you feel a clump like? No, it wasn't clumpy. It just stank. But it took me, because it was, you know, like, you know that thing, <laughs> if you're taking medicine, people like hold your nose and you don't really taste it. Yeah. It was that. It took a second to register. And I was like, mm, mm, oh. mm. Oh. that's Daniel Powder there. Like. I've had a bad day. Oh, bad You're day. right. You're you get, right. You get the yop clump stuck in your throat. Fuck it. There were, thank fuck it wasn't clumpy, but it was definitely off. It was buttery. <laughs> and, then, oh. <laughs> and then you and then you start to panic. You're like, you know, is it just a matter of time before I'm vomiting and shedding? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it was all right. Like, I I would have had that with. Uh, I had one time a clumpy yazoo, oh. but I didn't. I didn't drink it. Thank God. I poured it under a glass. And I just saw it come out and like three or four by guy clumps. And I was like, Jesus Christ, throw that glass in the bun. Oh. There's no saving that. That is, seems to be the general reaction in your family. Fuck it all in the bin if anything goes wrong. Just immediately delete. Yeah. You know. Can I smell it? Can I taste it? <laughs> no way. I'll, I'll waterfall it so you don't get my cooties. <sighs> nah, I won't. Keep it on. Let me see. Did you shake this calm before you went for it? Nope. It smells like gravy. <laughs> Looks like a two. Sensational. Yeah, that is, decadent. <laughs> that is fucking decadence right there. There are some things like you, uh, you know, I was talking about that Andy Bourdain episode where he was like, you know, do you ever feel guilty in life? Like, you know, should you be enjoying this much pleasure? Because they're absolutely chilling. That's one of them where you're like, this is a, who's, who's this for? Yeah. This has to be like your death row meal or something. Mm-hmm. I had the, the frozen coffee drink in Tenerife last year. Went to this wee stall, 
and this girl had like a, it looked like, you know, like a slushy machine, but it was obviously like espresso fucking frappe or something, pumped it out, she only gave me a wee tiny cup, and I drank that, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, Yeah, I, I go through like, my reactions to food and drink are that it'll get good to the point where I'm just fuming. Yeah. Like I'm angry. You like. just slam it down and be like, what the, who, what yeah. am I doing eating fucking mash? Yeah. You ever get happiness guilt? I don't even know if I get happiness. <laughs> <laughs> My bar for like, uh, you know, happiness or perfection is so high that I just float below it all the time. <laughs> I was talking about I was talking about that with stand up. Yeah. What did Mike Rice say to me? He goes, You're one of the few men who are fucking uh what what way did he put it? Like good at stand up or something who doesn't even like it or something? Yeah. Like and I was like, No, I do like it when it's absolutely top level. But I get that though. And anything below that, I'm like, what well, I'll come off stage just like I need to change careers. Well that's the thing is the worst thing about stand up that can happen to you is when you actually do properly kill for the first time because mm-hmm. now that's your barometer yeah and you're like there's so many variables that went into yeah. that happening yeah that are out of your control yeah yeah that's why they always make the surfing uh analogy you know you just have to fucking you, you surf what you're given <laughs> you'll fucking surf what you're given <laughs> as my now we've served at the house as my dad always used to say you'll fucking surf what you're given Surf at home. <laughs> yeah. Surf in the freezer, you have that. Oh, I frozen surf in the <laughs> Uh, now that's not true. You experience happiness. I've seen you in happiness states. Uh, yeah. Today at breakfast, <laughs> pick and shake. <laughs> like a dog with two dicks. <laughs> You're not haggis. <laughs> I did get it. I remember reading like a thing and uh, about it where it was like happiness, guilt. And I've definitely experienced that where like say if you're having a good period in your life, you feel bad about it. Oh well yeah, yeah, you've expressed it currently. Yeah. We are like, well, what's next now that I'm happy? Yeah, well yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because, well, especially if like, you know, dating someone and it's going really well yeah. i'm like oh she's just gonna go to shite soon we'll get back to the default state nah but that's a terrible way to have your brain wired yeah you know what i mean that's just based on your previous shit heaps yes you know yeah you're always gonna have happiness you're always gonna have wee nightmares that's it you just gotta surf the wave you're given you just gotta get yourself a chocolate milk and enjoy it yeah while, 100%. while, it's, while it's happening 100 percent. 100 percent. can't take it with you you know what i mean <laughs> But you can't take that with you in public. You can't take that with you. you can't, can't, can't take that in public. <laughs> They'll be asking you if you're carers about. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it is funny though, like, you know, even like chatting to Rice, even yesterday, and he's chatting about like... We're talking about Michael Rice, mm-hmm. the comedian, by yeah, the way. The very, the, the absolutely hilarious man. From the famous know. podcast, Have a Word. If you're out here, fucking uh, go see his show as well. He's doing like 16 shows. Go see one of them. Yeah, you can go see him at any time. You know, it will suit you. Yeah. Whatever time you want to see Yeah. Him. He's got an afternoon show and evening show. He's on yeah, the hour. Check him out. But he was chatting about like, he was chatting a wee bit about that last night. You know, because he's like recently single and shit. And just like, you know, about, you know, having a good period, then having a shy period and going back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, man, that's just life. It's just the way it is. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Just the way it is. And then you picked up the bowl of ramen and went. (laughs) Any point made. Down the drain immediately. 100%. What was it I said? That's life, man. You just got to ride the wave. You got to ride the surf you're given. What was it I said yesterday? And you you looked at me and you were like, man, you fucking Jordan Peters. Remember the ramen place? Yeah. It was something around that conversation. Wasn't that? Oh, some people need a chaotic narrative or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> need a cha- chaotic narrative because what? They're bored. They're bored. I felt like getting up and hitting the gong after that one. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Let's sit on that for a second, guys. Yeah. Let's just really sit on that. <laughs> Am I blind, boy? <laughs> Fucking hell, sir. The creak of these things is actually getting concerning. Yeah, that angle's fucked. It's bad. Like, this one, though, not as much creakage. Oh, no, there is. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if that's a sign of something, I don't want to know what. 
Don't be sad, dog. Creaky legs is a sign of whatever. I don't want to know. <laughs> Fuck it. Let me surf the wave myself. Dodgy cankles. There'd be no surfing with them feet. <laughs> you float around like a sail. You joking me? Anyway, we should yeah, get out of here, should we? Should we get another Patreon on the go? We should. Let's get a Patreon on the go. Patreon on the go. Any cr- crickets? <laughs> See that smooth action? Oh, smooth angles. Killing it. Folks, creeped out. <laughs> we're gonna get out of here. Uh, you know, we've got show, we've got more show, po- podcasting all day. That's what me and you're doing. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Cranking them out. Cranking them out. Cranking them out live. Cranking out in the bed in there. It's crank city. I'm gonna go crank right now. Yeah, I would love a crank. Nah, take a crank. <laughs> take a crank and a chocolate milk. Breeze coming in through the window. And if you are having a dip in life right now, pull t- your wire. P- pull your wire. Have a chocolate milk. This too shall pass. <laughs> That's the t-shirt. <laughs> you just fucking we cartoon cock in hand chocolate milk this too shall pass <laughs> and that's all she wrote that's all she wrote folks cheers for joining us once again on the bomb squad pod the very relaxed setup we've got going on here in edinburgh down by the meadows chilling um <laughs> down by the meadows here in the meadow <laughs> Uh, patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod for all of the patreon episodes behind the scenes information and videos Get over there. You can submit questions to the Patreon. Uh, we will answer them on the Patreon episode. All that good stuff. Anything else to add? None, lad. Thank you again for listening. And we'll see you next week. See you next week. Look after yourself. Ride the wave you're given. Don't we? It's going to be all right, babe. <laughs> it's going to be all right, babes. Love ones. Love wins. Where'd you read that? Something like Instagram account. Love wins. <laughs> 